have these bicycles here for employees to check out at lunch to run errands so they don't have to use their car. Right here are the green spots for carpooling and for hybrid vehicles. Of late, we began the process of trying to make our campus more sustainable. Uh, recently, two years ago, we added the solar panels here. They act as both a carport for the cars as well as collecting the energy. It's, it's a step. It's not fueling the entire campus, but it is fueling this building. We have additional solar panels that fuel a smaller building as well. So much of what you see on the campus are trees and vegetation that is edible. There are fruit trees, there are herbs, figs to show that you can have a work environment or a home environment that is also a natural environment and learn where your food comes from. For instance, here's one of the childcare buildings and some strawberries are growing and usually this is completely full. They've just done the harvest and we're starting over again. Another thing that we are doing on our campus is experimenting with how to be more environmental, both in terms of the use of materials that we use in our buildings and here in our parking lot. This concrete is an experiment. It's a type of concrete that allows the water to soak through it so that things like oil and radiator fluids go into the ground and are naturally filtered through the layers. We have the surf about a block and a half from us. We don't want that oil and radiator fluid going into the water that we're going to play in later. So by doing this, it's a natural way of purifying the water before it goes into the ocean. And that most people don't realize that whatever they dump on the street doesn't go to a sewage plant and get sorted. It goes straight into the ocean. So this is a way that we can begin to think about lessening our impact. There seems to be a very high awareness of going green, but a lot of people don't really know how to go there. And they're turning to Patagonia to say, how do we go green besides just recycling the cans on our paper on our campus? And we're trying to give them examples and lead them to organizations that can help. It's not growth because we need to grow and we want to keep our stockholders mm -hmm. really happy. I think it's, that is not the, mm -hmm. the case in Patagonia. No. Right? Patagonia wants to grow at a rate that is manageable and sustainable. We're private, so when we grow, we want to grow in a way that has a conscience. And one of the driving factors for why we might want to grow is so there's more money to give away, frankly.